Grand Rising, Grand Rising, Grandmother and Rising People. I'm your Uncle Seven, your favorite Uncle Seven Nine, Spiritual Savage. Here to bring you uh, some messages. Well, a message this morning. I don't know how many I'm going to do today. But I will. Um, I'll let, you know, I mean, I guess when I upload, you'll know. It's currently 7.57 a.m. Somebody could be about to travel on a jet. Um, on July 1st, 2024, 64 degrees Fahrenheit, mostly sunny here in Minneapolis. Uh, we are now officially in cancer season. Happy birthday, cancers, you crybabies. I'm just kidding. Not really. But uh, uh, I definitely, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Gemini cancer cusper, so I get it. You know, being emotional and uh, all in your feelings and your feels. It's a good thing because cancer, I believe cancer is the mother of the confirmation. Yeah. Cancer is the mother of the zodiac signs. So that's the reason why there's a lot of feels going on. Oh, I forgot about that yesterday. So let's do that. I mean, we'll pull some energy on that, I guess. But uh, but let's 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 show some thanks to the Most High God for bringing us here for this message, uh, for waking us up, for giving us the breath of life today, for giving us the courage and strength to face the world when shit gets scary and real. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's talk about it. How was everybody's weekend? I'm, I, I, I hope. Well, I did check in with you guys, but hope everybody had a wonderful weekend here. So check this out. Uh, well, let me just thank everybody again. Thank you for joining me. New subscribers, current subscribers, OGs. Savage Apple Seeds. I love you guys. Thank you very much for your continued love and support. Um, the channel is growing. We're almost at 10, well, 9,000, which is, which is great. And then of course, with the hashtag, I'm so excited about that. I, I definitely am very excited about that. Um, uh, thank you. It's, I mean, it's, I listen. You know, a lot of times I feel like, especially like with, um, like say like music artists, uh, they're like, thank you. I, you know, I couldn't have done this without you guys. I don't really be believing people be saying that anyway. <laughs> I don't believe people believe it. I don't, I don't believe that people mean it when they say that a lot of times, but I definitely do mean it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I mean, I mean, if was nobody, if did nobody support me, then I wouldn't be where I'm at now. On this platform anyway you know what i'm saying and in life too we got to keep that in mind so i definitely appreciate that um i'll be doing a, a giveaway another giveaway here uh at, at ten thousand. um it'd be something different something special so stay tuned you feel me uh but also to spirit guys spirit teams law enforcement you guys are the jedis i appreciate you very much uh ancestors 5d and 3d thank you for uh, uh joining me i'm sweating y'all because i was, just came back in it's got to eat breakfast and drinking coffee too so you know it's a little hot you feel me uh but thank you thank you of ancestors 5d and 3d i appreciate you very much intergalactic beings galactic federation hi how you doing <laughs> hey hey what's up baby good morning i hope you're well wherever you are in this world in this galaxy amongst the quasars and cosmos i heard uh, thank you to everybody that has uh, donated to the channel, whether that's the Cash App, PayPal, Super Chat, or Super Thanks. Um, I hope that comes back to you. I pray that that comes back to you at least tenfold. You feel me? Uh, I definitely appreciate that as well. I do, I do, I do, I do. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, the links um, for the Cash App and the PayPal are down below. So if you want to, you don't have to. Anybody got to do. But if you'd like to, like the video. Share the content. Comment in the chat or below. If you like what we're doing over here because this is our we're making it grow we're not doing this alone we are not doing this alone you are not alone okay so uh let me grab my water real quick i'll be right back all right so we back we back we back um we didn't go to sleep so there um so how was everybody's weekend i hope everybody's weekend went well um I, you know, I'm a pride weekend went went without any type of disasters, which I'm very, very grateful for. I mean, glad everybody's safe. I hope everybody did have a good time, though. Um, want to share something here. So it is. Um, well, first things first, I. Um, when you're walk when you're walking along this path, uh, it is very important not to be so hard on yourself yeah it's very important not to be so hard on yourself um, when you make mistakes or 
when you fall, you know, a little short of whatever go marks that you goals that you've set for yourself. Uh, I, I kept hearing uh, yesterday about not being in a rush, and it's okay. You know, we we have not that we have all the time in the world, but we definitely have all the time in the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's 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 just it's I don't know. It's just one of those things about time, and so I'm 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 one of those people that feel badly when I don't um, when I don't meet particular deadlines that I set for myself without without really taking into consideration what life is also doing you know it's, it's hard it's hard prioritizing goals it's hard uh, it can get hard let me not say it is hard but it can get hard trying to prioritize goals or send it around a, a, a crazy crazy deranged life we just have to get through it you know um, so if you feel if you're beating yourself up and you're feeling and you're feeling bad badly about maybe not being where you might you know where you desire to be or where you feel like you should be you know be accountable you know see what maybe you can do a little differently when you set that next goal or when you continue to, to work towards completion of that goal that maybe you didn't quite um, you know complete or meet or achieve there we go achieve is the word but look at it like this though you know um, I feel like especially in this day and age with everything that we got going on in our lives the kind of things that we experience uh, the attacks the spiritual attacks the, then the dark night of the souls then then you know uh, spiritual hygiene you know because we this is a spiritual war and wartime is ugly you know doesn't matter if it's, it's, it's it, you know it's physical or spiritual war is ugly and the first priority during war is to make sure that you do not become a casualty of it and so that's that's the first thing because you know the world gives us the world gives us very particular kind of uh, milestones if you will the world gives the world you know this this world we live in the matrix gives us certain kind of milestones that we um, you know that that the world says that we should you know be at at a very particular time whether that's you know you should be you know by, by a certain age you want to make sure you graduated from college by a certain age you want to make sure that you're married by a certain age you want to make sure that you have children by a certain age you want to make sure that professionally you're where you want to be then by a certain age you want to make sure you got all this money saved up because you got to worry about how you're going to take care of yourself when you get oh blah 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 yada 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 and when we don't when we don't meet those marks it does it does affect uh, it can it can affect our our psyche, our self-esteem. Uh, it can affect how how we move forward. You know, uh, you know. Take for instance, you know, all of, like most of most of my, uh, if not, I mean, I, most of the people I, I grew up with are all married. Or, you know, they own houses. Blah blah blah. A lot of people do. You know, and I don't. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and ordinarily. Like people would feel bad about that, but I don't feel bad. I don't really feel bad about that. No, I don't. Because uh -uh. that's, you know, it, it, it happens for people when it happens for people. Just like marriage happens for people when it happens for people. Just like, uh, you know, obtaining a college degree happens for people when it happens for people. When we, when we base our lives around what the, what the quote unquote status, the standard is or the status quo of this world is, best believe that you will always fall short uh, of, something, of something for self. You could meet all those uh, milestones by the particular age, the age, you know, to within the time frame that the world says that we, that we should. You could, but you're too busy keeping up with the, what the world says you should have when you should have it that you can neglect to take care of yourself spiritually. Um, you could, you, you know, it, we hear it all the time about people who, um, you know, do, do everything by the book and do everything right and wake up one day and go, who am I? I'm unfulfilled. I'm not very happy. My life is empty. You know, um, I don't I don't have an identity outside of what the world or who the world has told me that I should be and how I should operate within this world. Um, so, you know, I, I feel I feel like there is a yin and a yang to it. You know, you do. There's there's definitely a balance and a polarity, but we're here to learn what that is for ourselves. And so I'm here to tell you today. To continue to keep moving forward, to continue to keep working towards your goals. Don't abandon things because you maybe you didn't finish them on time or 
maybe you feel like they're not good enough or you know you're not doing you know you're seeking perfection a lot of times that's that's my problem a lot of times but continue to keep moving forward because you know whether or not people want to accept it or not maybe you don't want to accept it or not the main goal is to make sure that you are okay spiritually and physically that you remain hopeful and faithful that you understand is you you know you try to do as much as you can do you know don't push yourself to the limit to where you're suffering burnout or you know you're just you're overwhelmed and stressed out because there's enough stress and and and, and things going on in this world we don't you know we don't have to put, we don't have to continue to keep making our stressing ourselves out more you know what i'm saying that's what i'm telling you consider every day that you wake up that you made it through yesterday today or tomorrow consider consider every day that you make it through this 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 very t difficult and tough um, spiritual war and all these spiritual attacks all the energy being sent to you all the witchcraft all those things consider every day that you get through that the greatest achievement for that day for your life because you made it a lot of people don't make it hell a lot of people make it and they ain't made and they ain't made it you feel me so that's 11 22 at the clock when i look down so just be be easy on yourself i'm telling myself the same thing because yesterday i was kind of going through it you know uh i realized yesterday too that you know i am still holding on uh to uh, negativity from these situations not to say that i ne that i didn't say that i wasn't you know what i'm saying but uh yesterday you know I, I, it was very introspective for me to really kind of sit around and think about how uh i am still holding on to things uh whether it, you know and these were things that i relatively thought were, were were very minor but there's but but it's still but it's still weight it's still dead weight it's still karmic dense 3d weight then that I need to release. And so I'm going to be working on that as well. And I challenge you to do the same if, if you if the spirit moves you. You feel me? So go ahead and think about that for your uncle. I appreciate that. Because, you know, like I, I do like to to consider this what 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 I do here on this platform. I like to consider this is not about me. This is about the collective and I am a part of the collective. You feel me? So I want everybody to you know, we can do this together. We, you know, everybody doesn't have to be you know running running in the same uh this at the same speed at the same time that's not what this is about because if somebody's ahead of us we can learn from that person that's ahead of us if somebody's maybe a little behind us or not behind us in a way like they're slacking or anything like that but you know a, a little bit on a different timeline we can also learn from people there as well you feel me we're all here to learn from each other we're all here to grow with each other we're all here to love on each other um we are all here to support one another if it if if it's part of your tribe, you know everybody got their tribe, which is why you know I don't be tripping about you know I don't I don't need a million subscribers, I don't need fifty, you know I don't need I don't you know it's good to check the numbers just to see where you are to gauge yourself, but overall like I don't no because uh -uh. everybody I don't if if I got if I got two million subscribers, well there's eight billion people in the world, but I'm just saying like if I was if I had two million subscribers right now, uh. About three quarters of them motherfuckers probably are ops or ain't my tribe, which is fine. You know, we bump into people. We, we, you know, we get to know people and build whole relationships with people. And then you realize, yeah, this ain't, you know, I thought we were, but now we're not. You know what I'm saying? So all that shit's okay. I'm just pretty much telling you that I'm here with y'all. I go through the same shit y'all go through. I realize that it's my job not to perpetuate victim, victim mentality, lack mentality, um, it's okay for us to discuss karmic things, you know, things that things that may be uh, related to lack, um, things that may be related to being victimized. It's okay for us to discuss that, but I don't want to be here to perpetuate. That's not my job here. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's been the other thing I've been kind of just trying to figure out how to better do um, is to is to bring us out of those lack mindsets. You know, a, a lot of times I, I I've heard over the weekend too how you know people were saying like. Some of these messages are becoming a tad bit too karmic. Some of these messages are very negative and they're right. They are very negative. And you know, the reason why is because we're not for, for how, how long have we been going through karmic cycles, negative, uh, negative, uh, negative cycles, in, engaging in negative activity without properly healing or at least not being able, we, you know, most of the time when we've been going through a lot of these things, we don't find people like like ourselves to to discuss things with to look for answers or seek some type of guidance or wisdom you know we just don't 
and so yes these messages are very heavy negative um, they come from a very negative place but our job is to transmute it our job is to find ways to change these messages to clear out this negative energy so that the messages become more positive but I, but you know this is the thing too though so uh when all this negativity ceases uh tarot won't you know people won't be utilizing tarot like that no they won't that's that's a that's another that's a that's another thing too that I really feel like a lot of people are afraid of, especially on this platform. Uh, not even on this platform, but uh, social media at large. As far as the tarot community is concerned, a lot of these people realize that they have to keep us in these perpetual states of karma or karmic energies, or you know these these negative toxic uh, patterns and generational curses, because they want they realize like once all that's cured, like once we're all healing from it. And we learn how to tap into ourselves instead of tapping into other people because I really feel like that's my job too, as far as tarot is concerned. Because at some point, I, 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 my, what I do for what I do for the collective ain't gonna involve no cards. I don't want it to. I don't want that to be the cornerstone of how I'm helping six nineteen on the clock when I look down. I, I don't want that to be the cornerstone of how I'm helping people heal through through tarot cards. These are tools that are necessary for the, the here and now. But overall, no, uh-uh. Because we're supposed to be teaching people how to get cards and pull them for yourself or to rely on your own intuition instead of looking for uh, people to guide you every step of the way with cards. Cards are not always 100%. Well, I'll put it to you like this. Nothing's perfect. And, you, and, you base, and, you, and you're basing whatever resonates with you that, that comes from somebody, you're, that what resonates, is, it's all based upon the interpretation. Somebody's really, you know, whether or not somebody's truly tapped in or gifted, okay? Uh, but you got, you know, you just have to be mindful. You know, I don't, I don't, I've, I've been doing a lot of thinking about that, you know? Um, so what I, what I feel like, the, what I'm being set up for is, you know, once, once people start really healing and start understanding the fact that, you know, tarot is a very, in my opinion, a very beautiful, wonderful thing to help people uh, along their pathway. That, you know, when people come to see my messages, they're not just coming to see me pull cards. You know what I'm saying? This is supposed to be a place where we learn how to heal and how to get in touch with our own gifts. Because, like I said, that's a, that's another reason why I've been kind of avoiding doing personal readings. I said that before because I don't want to be, I don't want to be, you know. A motherfucker probably get mad at me because after the, like after the second time, I, I would probably be like, uh, "Listen, you know, I don't really feel, I don't want to be, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to be like a, you know, how you go see a therapist once a month. I don't want to be that person that people are coming to once a month for me to 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 foretell their future because I feel like a lot of people look for that as well. A lot of people are not looking for confirmations. A lot of people are looking for you to foretell the future. And I had a thought this morning that. Being psychic doesn't mean that you can tell the future. It just means that you can feel the future. You feel me? It's about feeling the energy based upon our actions. Because a, a person that reads cards could tell you, yep, this is what you're going to, this is what you should expect. But all that's based upon is you and your actions. Okay? All that shit could change. It really can. You know, uh, destiny... Uh, Fate, fate is what we can change, but destiny is what it is. If something's destined to happen, it's going to happen. If something's not destined to happen, it's not going to happen. So we can change our fate with every given second, minute, hour, day, month, week, year, however this works. That's up to us. Ultimately, it is. So yes, I can pull. I like I like doing what I'm doing here because I'm I'm pulling on on things and energies that are uncovered. That help people get these confirmations, that get people to get on the right path to, to, to receiving their justice or obtaining their justice or to break generational curses. You know, uh, figure out secrets that people were keeping from them, the lies that people have been told. It's about opening your eyes and keeping them open. Not opening your eyes for a brief moment and then going back to sleep. That's not what I'm trying to do here. So, you know, take that energy as it resonates. If you don't like what I just said, if you don't like about anything what I just said, okay? Get the fuck out of here. You feel me? <laughs> okay. All right. So that's what I that's what I wanted to say today. I'm glad that that came out like that because you know uh, I am I'm a part of the collective. I'm on the same journey that you guys are on. You know whether you know I, I, whether I'm a, more ahead of you guys in some places. That's fine. But I'm telling you now, 
I'm where I'm at, but I'm still on the timeline. I still got work to fucking do too. Every day. Every day is an opportunity to do some more work, to learn some shit, you know, to grow. And that's what your uncle had to say this morning for the rant. Okay? All right, let's get sexy with it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? So, yesterday, <laughs> yo, I'm not going to lie to y'all. So, <laughs> yesterday, before I get to the card, yo, so I've been using I don't, micro dosing with the gummies and the THC drinks just because, you know, I. I I like to use I like to I like to have it for my anxiety and just to kind of relax myself because I can be a tad bit high strung if y'all can't tell. So <laughs> this motherfuckers had me tweaking yesterday, yo. <laughs> that THC be get will get you. So like I, I'm wondering now, so I'm gonna start. I, I I'm just gonna have to just go to like I don't I don't know what I can do because I do you know listen after 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 doing drugs and drinking for damn near. 30 years 20 years I'm not gonna say I, I don't know I don't need anything but I definitely like it's like weed you know what I'm saying? I just don't like smoking weed you know what I'm saying but I do like the I do like weed the way it makes me feel and you know just kind of it mellows me out and so these drinks have been really been helping with the gummies as well I don't I don't do them both at the same time but uh you know the drinks are really you know they're t 10 milligrams of <laughs> THC in each of these drinks I was tweaking yesterday. <laughs> I was I was all like you know how you you smoke some weed and you get all in your head like like you are in your head going through the the cabinets, the closets, digging up things in your brain and you're like looking over everything with a fine tooth comb where you get lost in your head and at some point yesterday I was like I told myself Get the fuck out of your head, man. Like, literally. <laughs> I was twacked out. Not twacked out, because that, that means crystal meth. But I was tweaking. You know what I'm saying? I was. I was in my head for like four whole hours yesterday. That shit was scary as hell, G. Because <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to be able to get out of there. <laughs> ah, the cat, they look at, the cat looked at me, and I looked back at the cat, and I was like, this nigga, I up. <laughs> Yo, so yeah, we gotta. <laughs> I was, not, you know, that it's just so funny to me because there was sometimes when I would, when I would smoke a little bit of weed, I would either get really, really funny or really, really kind of like, you know, annoyed a little bit. Shut up, uh, okay. <laughs> Yo, so I just, I just let it, I let it, I let it go. I just, I, I let it, I let it subside. And then a few hours later, when it finally did, okay, I was like, woo. <laughs> definitely, definitely got to drink these and head outside. You feel me? So that's, that's, that's kind of like a little laugh for you guys. Okay. This is some Florida water on my hands. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this reading so that I give a clear and concise message to the collective this morning. I like to ask that all evil eyes go blind, all your hustling demons go deaf. Any dark magic, any negative energy, anything that people want bad for me and the collective. Return to sender 10 times fold, got it with love and light, with some haste behind it. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. It's not ours. You know what I'm saying? It's not ours. You know, why people giving us things that don't belong to us? It's just, don't nobody want to do that. But we got city, city council came out yesterday when I was putting my cards up. Something about city council. Okay, so the last name Black or Black could be very significant as well. But we could be talking about a Black City Council member. We can talk, we can, you know, somebody last name Black on City Council. But something definitely about City Council here. Probably a Cancer. So Cancer has something to do with this, okay? And the color Gray or the last name Gray, okay? I just heard Dorian Gray. Dorian Gray is the story of a man who uh, stayed young forever. Um, okay. Alexa, good morning. Good morning, and happy Monday. Here's one way to make sure your Monday is dynamo. Just rearrange the letters. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? 
Musician Debbie Harry, the lead singer of Blondie, was born on this day in 1945. If she needs anyone to sing her happy birthday, here's a tip. Call me. When didn't she didn't didn't she didn't she, wasn't she the first wasn't she the first white chick to ever drop a bar in some in some in a song? That's uh what what song is that? Uh Alexa, what's the number one hit by Blondie? Blondie achieved a number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 with four songs, Heart of Glass, Call Me, The Tide is High, and Rapture. Okay, I don't, is the name of the song Call Me where she raps? Okay, well, happy birthday, Blondie. Happy birthday to anybody whose birthday is today. I do know somebody's birthday is today, though. I can't remember who it is, but I'm not, I mean, it's not, well, I wouldn't be calling them anyways to tell them happy birthday, okay? But let's just say, if you're watching, happy birthday, motherfucker, okay? But, Alexa, who is Dorian Gray? Dorian Gray is the protagonist in Oscar Wilde's 1890 novel The Picture of Dorian Gray. Dorian Gray is a handsome and wealthy young man who is also the grandson of Lord Kelso. In the novel, Dorian is depicted as a charming and mischievous character who is obsessed with appearing young and maintaining his beauty despite aging and committing sins. Thank you. Anytime. Literally. Happy Monday. Yeah, you too. That could be that. I, I got god bumps when I heard uh, <laughs> the part about staying young, even though you know a person, this person was living kind of, uh, you know, sinfully in sin, committing sins. Um, I, it's been I, I read it a long time ago. So, but basically, um, as long as he didn't look at the picture, he would not. Um, he would he would remain young. So it's kind of like, uh, what are we talking about here? We're talking about somebody that in the, that is playing in witchcraft. We're talking about somebody who um, possibly, could, I believe, I would consider Dorian Gray an energy vampire, like a, a whole vampire. You know, all the all the all the carrying around he was doing was, you know, because he was young, keeping young. That's like that's a that's an incubus energy. So we could be talking about a male here. The name Dorian could be very significant. Uh, again, Gray, uh, but we're talking about somebody who. Um, Sold their soul to gain the world. Is that how this goes? I feel I feel like well, that's what we're talking about here. City council is very significant. The color black. I feel like somebody could be African American or black or however you want to look at that. Somebody with brown skin. Somebody's being investigated here. That's what the card says at the bottom of the deck. Anyway, okay. Oh, I can't I can't make it up. Somebody's a cancer and somebody's a devil worshiper. What did I say? Papa, 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 papa. Ah, okay. Somebody's a devil worshiper, and that's where the cards. Go blank. Confirmation and the confirmations, y'all. Who's, you know, whatever. Okay. Somebody's a scabbit. That's what the card says. Somebody out there's a scabbit. Probably, probably somebody watching right now is a scabbit. Okay. Hey, scabs. And scabs. I gotta make some more emojis. Um. So. I got a few downloads that I'll be coming back with today, I suppose. Yeah, that's my job right now, you know. But we like like I said, we're We're moving towards a different a different dawn. A different day and age, people. Okay? That's what we're doing. So let's get some energy on this. How about that? Let's use some Lenormo. Cause what I'm obviously I'm pulling on this energy because somebody out here needs to come. I'm not gonna ask. Let me just do my job and shut the hell up. You feel me? Let's get some cards out here. One more. Two more. Thank you. All right. So the first one that came out is book. Talks about knowledge. Then we got Clover in the reverse. Bad luck. Uh -huh. Then we got Garden followed by Death. Yikes. I can't remember what Garden means. So let's look it up. Social interactions, meetings, public affairs, popularity, social networks, and gatherings. Yikes. So we got somebody from city council who's about to 
uh, being uh, about to lose all of their uh, popularity. So sure, and I, I, like I feel like somebody, somebody's uh, funky. What's the problem? What's wrong? Okay. There's about to be a death to somebody's um, social. I don't know what what's the word I'm looking for here, y'all. Before y'all, what is that called? I don't know. I'm brain fart. Probably the THC. But um, like their notoriety, their success, somebody's reputation. There we go. Somebody's reputation within their social community, um, their public affairs, especially we're talking about city council here. Somebody, somebody, uh, city council, okay, a cancer male, um, somebody African-American. Let's see if we get some, some city energy on it. Yeah, because people are talking. It's something about, there's something going around with the birds at the bottom of the deck. There's some type of gossip. Some type of gossip is going around about this person. Probably about the fact that they look at knowledge. Yep, bad luck because what people know. The book here, Clover in the reverse. Something this there's something that they, especially with the garden here and the birds. Excuse me, spiritual bird. There's some type of knowledge that people are about to find out or know about this person, and they're talking. It's about to be there's about to be a, a ending for this person. The, the coffin card number is number eight, so that's karma coming back round. You feel me? Just a, just a conversation too, just a commercial break real quick. R religious, religious people really, really, really got a problem with uh, people who divinate, who, who use astrology, who use tarot, who use, they really got a problem with that. I mean, they really, really do. Uh, again, that's why it's all, you know, it's, we don't have to agree with everything everybody says, but there's a difference between disagreeing and condemning people, you know? Uh, and it's very sad that, uh, people in the religious communities do not, uh, are not, instead of, instead of maybe trying to understand things better or create a bridge of, uh, you know, to bring people together who are more spiritually, who, whose practices are more spiritually based than religious based, and maybe trying to gain some understanding here. Um, it's a shame that uh, there's there's such a condemnation for people who divinate in spirituality. You know, I just I feel like it's a, such a shame because. You know, I am one of those people that can watch people that I may not agree with everything that they say. But the moment that, uh, you know, there's some condemnation going on about, uh, you know, especially when it pertains to things that I believe in, that I have faith in, that have made me better. It's, it's a shame because I, I, I don't I don't want to participate in the conversation. I don't want to watch the person anymore because, you know, to me, it's very self to me. It's I do believe that some people truly and honestly, you know, feel what they feel about it. But I also just really kind of feel like. Uh, how can you continue to keep condemning what is helping people heal or make them better? It's very self-serving in my opinion. You know, a person can still be a person can still be a man or a woman of the cloth, um, and not and and not necessarily and, and not support or even believe in you know a div you know div divinating in spirituality, whether that's through crystals, cards, astrology, things of that nature. Uh, you know. It's okay, but at the same time, how it's it's helping people grow. It's helping people become better. My road, to my you know, when, once I once I got started on you know to, tapping into the you know tarot online, and then I started to read for myself and other people. Um, it made me better, and it made me stronger. It made me tap more into my spirituality, and going along that. That, that that part of my journey um, led me to a place where I was able to 
uh, give up drugs, give up, you know, karmic connections, give up drinking all the time, you know, just overindulging in alcohol, uh, you know, making poor choices. It made me better. And so I don't, you know, that's why I just kind of feel like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's okay for people to not necessarily agree with practices that people have but if it's making people better i feel like maybe people should maybe take a step back and reevaluate their thoughts but you know people uh people do that when if they have to do that especially in the religious community it's going to contradict everything that they're telling people is wrong and i feel like they don't want to admit that that's just my thoughts on that commercial break nevada the Carson carson city uh the silver state sits the sin city okay south dakota uh pierre uh, the the uh, Mount Rushmore state could also be very significant, but Nevada is what came out. Okay, so we got 8:33 in the clock, 8:33 a.m. So that yeah, and it was it's 35:53 when I looked down. So Nevada is definitely significant here. All right, so let's see let's see what let's see what the all the all the talk is about. While I went down the rabbit hole in my mind, though, I did uncover some more things, though, things that I thought I'd forgotten about, things that were buried, buried deep within my subconscious. I, I had a, I, some things resurfaced and I was like, oh, wow. Yikes. You know. It all makes sense now. Thank you, THC. The Six of Swords here. Clarify the Six of Swords. So I said they almost got away with something. Because the Six of Swords is, leads to the Seven of Swords, which is, you know. King of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, male cancer energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, what I say. This person almost got away with something. He's very karmic. King of Swords in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. This person's a narc. Queen of Wands, okay. The Leo card and the Ace of Cups. So this person is with a feminine. She could be a Leo. Spirit says that's the truth. That this is who this person is with. So it could be his wife. A red phone case. What? What's the T? Somebody got a text message um, with 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 this information or this gossip. Somebody got a text message or somebody got some type of there's something on somebody's phone uh, that was it has is you know that somebody saw or I don't know if it's a recording or what. Let's see. There's something about a phone, though. Possibly, <laughs> it, it, it sounds so. Just follow me here. It's like a red. Uh, somebody has a red, a bright red uh, case around their phone. Something about bright red case. It could be a bright red phone case. Love on the brain, daydreaming, fan, dreaming, fantasizing, day, or daydreaming, nostalgic. Oh, okay. Yep. It's about it's about who this person is have this person it's about who this person is involved with. I feel like this person with the Queen of Wands in the reverse because we all know what she is. She sells the puss. Okay, she just does. She's a witch who sells the puss. She's very jealous, envious, and hateful. This dude is messing around with this witch bitch. She's wolf in sheep's clothing. Get another card out here, and then I'll get some initials. I feel like this is pretty much what's about. This is what's about to be revealed. You feel me? Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Inside scoop. I can't make it up. 
This person must be. I wonder is this person married? I mean, because why? Why else? What does it matter? We got the devil worshiper card out here. Somebody's very egotistical here. One more. Two more. Let's get two more. Somebody took a closer look at this wolf in sheep's clothing. This person is a this, this city council member is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, and this could also mean too that this person this person likes oh damn we are talking about Nevada. This person likes this person likes to pay for the puss. He likes prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Jackpot. Something about some money. This person's been spending a lot of money on prostitutes. Is that what I just heard? Rejected and cyber bullying as it pertains to jackpot. There's a lot of blackmail energy going on these days as well. If you know, if people haven't been paying attention, because this this rejected cyberbullying and scarcity tactics, uh, I feel like that's like, yeah, it's played out. I was gonna say whoever. I feel like this person possibly uh, has been getting blackmailed or bullied online about whatever they like to do with with uh, Queen of Wands in the reverse. This Leo energy, this Leo witch bitch or prostitute or whatever now mind you city council doesn't have to be exactly city council but we are talking about somebody in the public eye we're talking about somebody that has a, a, or had a very respected or will or had a i just heard has has and is about to it has is about to be had so this is somebody that has a very good social standing amongst his peers in the community Okay, so this city council could just mean that this is somebody who does work in the community, who could be on city council. Nothing I'm picking up like government uh, as far as like uh, mayor, I mean, mayorial, is that how you say mayorial or like gubernatorial? You know, it's not it's not that high up there, but this is somebody very well known in the community. Yeah, one more. Let's get one more out here. I feel like I feel like now this is what I just heard, too. I feel like I feel like somebody what I'm hearing anyways, somebody's been looking into this person and has been getting the inside scoop about how this person likes to spend money. There's something about the rejected in the cyberbullying here. I wonder if maybe somebody reached out to this person and was like, you know, uh, <laughs> can you explain this? Yes, I told you this person remains unfazed or unbothered. Uh, I feel like it's be a groupie. Yikes. What's this groupie energy? Somebody that this man used to deal with that he don't want no more. So somebody that was rejected by this. It could be this queen of wands. It could be this queen of wands that this person was dealing with. That's going to be the reason why this person's career ends or their, you know, their, their, uh, reputation. Hmm. I feel like this, whoever this person is, it's like, especially comparing it to the Dorian Gray uh, energy, this person is very, this person could be very youthful, of course, very nice looking, is very, it's, it's really all about, because see, with, when it comes to Dorian Gray, Dorian Gray felt as if he could do whatever he wanted to do because he, he was, you know, he, he was young forever. He was very, you know, wasn't, wasn't going to die. I feel like this person feels like, Whoever they are, it's a false, it's a false sense of security because of who, what they look like, the money that they have. This is somebody that you know, and you know, as it's, it's far as saying the word sin, I don't really like to use that word all the time. But we're just gonna go with what, what, what you know, what the story's about, what she, what you know, what she explained. This person is very sinful. This person has a very, what would be considered a very sinful life. And it's a very, I feel like it's just considered a very sinful life because of whatever this person does or uh, how they how they show up to the world. You know, a lot of people show up to the world like, I don't do that. I got a problem. They condemn certain things. They talk a bunch of shit about people that do certain things. And behind closed doors, you have this person that does exactly everything that they're condemning everybody else for. 
You know what's funny too? So I was on my walk to the store today um, and then I heard casino and then I looked down and then it was 7-Eleven. So that could be, a that could be, I keep saying that that could be a cue for somebody to, to go to the casino. It could just be for me to go to the casino. Uh, but that, you know, I, I just really kind of feel like I just remember that now. This person uh, has gambled, has taken a gamble. I just heard, I just heard nobody's going to believe what the fuck you say. That's what I just heard. We got the full card here. Clarify the full. That was just a title card here. The star in the reverse. I'm telling you. Uh, what's next? What's next? The two of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Swords. Can't make it up. This person is about to take this risk to 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 make. Sh I feel like because the Queen of Wands in the reverse, that's somebody very vindictive, very evil. Now. I do feel like that this that this that this woman. Now let me not say because like, listen, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. It could be a man too. You know that envious, jealous energy. This could be somebody, but this is somebody that this person was romantically involved with, with the Ace of Cups out here. Um, so you know, take the energy as it resonates. But somebody, I'm telling you, somebody's about to tell it all with this with the with this birds here. They're about to tell something here. This whoever this person is has something has has receipts. I just heard has receipts. Okay. The three of wands. Clarify the three of wands here, because the ten, ten, ten of wands was the ten of swords was already at the bottom of the deck here. Page of wands. I'm telling you right there. This person is about to talk. About listen. It's about to be a huge betrayal. This person is about to be stuck like Chuck with the hangman in the reverse. The five of wands. This is about to be a. This is about to be some drama behind this. It's about to be some drama behind it. Drama. Seven of Pentacles. This person planted some really bad seeds here. This also to me talks about receipts. In this particular case, yeah, I feel like I feel like whoever this person pissed off has been collecting receipts the whole time. See, when people when people move as if they can't be touched. They literally, they, you know, they, there's, there's, there's really kind of a uh, king of pentacles in the reverse. There's something about the, what this person does with their money. Uh, I'm telling you, this person with the nine of cups here to the seven of wands in the reverse, to the eight of swords in the reverse, to the five of pentacles in the, uh, to the five of pentacles. This person spends a lot of money. I'm telling you, it spends a lot of time and effort and money. This person loves to be karmic unprotected i just heard is what this person has a like to have a lot of unprotected sex here with the nine of nine of cups to the seven of wands in the reverse this person loves to be free this person loves to be free the seven of wands you know talks about no blockages being there doing the eight of swords in the reverse that talks about being released from a mental prison this person likes to live very freely when people feel like they can't be touched they the bit this that's the hubris of people that is the ego of people we have ego out here People feel as if when they can't be touched, they don't do anything to clean anything up because they, they feel like they don't have anything to worry about. It's a very false sense of, uh, of security in this world. I just heard, you know, being, being in this world, not of this world. This person is of this world and in it. This person is this person. This person has allowed the matrix to set. I mean, because the matrix responds to the energy we put out there. But then there's also universal law as well. A person does whatever they want to do and can't be touched. If you're walking around, this person I feel like that walks around, like, it's kind of gives me like a bit of the diddler. You know what I'm saying? Um, although he did make efforts to cover allegedly. Well, no, we know that he did. He made he he made efforts to cover things up. I feel as if this person, because I feel like this person has not yet reached where they, where they aspire to go. I just got the worst smell of a skunk. Something stinks. 
person's a skunk. It's like Pepe Le Pew when he paints himself to look like a cat, but he's still a skunk. It's kind of like this person is a scab. So it's just kind of, I feel like this person is on a, on a rise to maybe being a mayor or maybe being in politics, something like that. It's kind of one of those things where I feel like it's like, well, you know, I can do whatever I want right now. See, I feel like people make those kind of mistakes as well. They, they do all this kind of horrible, karmic, demonic things. Uh, and then when they get to the point to where the things that they used to do could possibly affect their progress, then they go back and try to clean up everything. Instead of maybe, and I'm not saying that this is right either, but it would just make more sense to clean things up as you go along, I suppose, or just don't do the shit, period. But I feel like this person is, there's a, whoever this, this person has receipts and it's, they're about to get caught up. I feel like this person's whole, their garden, again, with seeds planted, they have, this person has some very um, strong connections within their social circle, within their community. That's all about to come to an end. This person, this person's very sloppy. That's what I just heard. Very sloppy and narcissistic and egotistical. This person feels like they can't die. They can't be touched. This person could, could possibly come from a wealthy family or belong to some type of coven. I mean, we do have devil worshiper out here, okay? This person divinates in the darkness, especially with this queen of wands, which bitch over here, okay? This person I do feel like is an energy vampire. This person could possibly be like an incubus energy, okay? Let's do this. Let's get a final message out here because we're at 51, 52. I just heard Highway 52. Final message for the collective. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Eight of Cups in the reverse. Clarify the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Pinnacles in the reverse. One more. The Hermit card came out sideways, but I'm going to take it in the reverse. I feel like, uh, so this Eight of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups in the reverse to the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, to the Hermit in the reverse. This talks about, Eight of Cups talks about not walking away or not being not being able to walk away towards some type of wish fulfillment. Confirmation. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles here, that is this Queen of Wands energy in the reverse. The Queen of Pentacles also does talk about somebody who does something strange for a little bit of change here. The Hermit card in the reverse. Now, this could mean that this person is a Virgo. This Queen of Wands, I doubt it. I feel like this person is very much either a Leo, because we do have Leo energy out here. Uh, this person could be a Leo, or this person really, really loves this masculine energy. Whatever it is, okay, this person is uh, no longer going to be hiding. This person is not going to be hiding in the background anymore. The Magician at the bottom of the deck, this person is uh, about to manipulate, feel uh, very manipulative, or is about to do something to manipulate circumstances. Magician does 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 confirm does clarify Virgo energy as well. So this this feminine energy could have uh, Virgo or, or Gemini heavily aspected in her chart. Okay, she could uh, also be a Leo. Let's get one more, please. The magician again. Clarify the magician. The king of swords. One more. One more. The six of swords. Six of Swords. Oh, that was a Nine of Swords. Yikes. This person's in trouble.
Listen, this person is about to. This okay. So with this with this magician to the king of swords energy out here, this is somebody who um, is man has manifested it has manifested this ending. They manifested this. This person could also divinate in witchcraft, dark, you know, some dark, some type of you know dark sorcery or whatnot. This exposure for this person to lose everything. Mm -hmm. This person is about to expose this person for 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 their for their you know salacious behavior. I feel like that's why I feel like this person is a is a is a you know lady of the night. It's somebody who's a prostitute. That's what I feel like. I feel like this person is about to reveal what this person actually spends their money on. Maybe you know there could be something about drugs involved. Whatever it is, this person has paid a lot of money. Uh, to do, I feel like this person just has a lot of uh, bad habits, or has a very uh, deviant sexual past or current. I just really feel like this person really likes to spend money on ladies of the night. That's what I just heard. And whatever this person exposes is going to make this person lose a big ass ace of pinnacle. Yeah, because this person worships the devil secretly. And does a lot of divination underneath the moon. This person secretly worships the devil, which is going to stop prevent this person from moving this emperor from moving forward. Not going to be able to do it. You feel me? Mm -mm. Yep, we got the Knight of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Well, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. To the six of pentacles in the reverse to the nine of pentacles in the reverse this person refused i'll tell you this person made a decision spirit says that's the truth and there we go the four of swords she's about to put the nail in the coffin it's about to put this person person's about to be trapped in in poverty like what i'm not gonna say they're gonna be poor broke but i'm just basically telling you here because they're greedy with the nine of cups here this person is i feel like they're both selfish but this but the knight of swords this person cut this person off very quickly from giving and receiving with them anymore the six of pentacles here uh, which did something for this feminine energy. Uh, I feel like I feel like this man was probably paying this maybe hush money or something like that. But he 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 cut it off. He stopped giving and receiving with this person, and that did something for this feminine energy's money, this for their finances. So yet this person is about to reveal this truth, which is gonna put this person in poverty, could possibly end this person up in jail from whatever they've done as well. But definitely in a mental prison. I, I just heard this person's gonna be barred barred from their community so they're going to be ex exiled from the community or, or excommunicated from the society that they live in or just kicked off the fucking island okay Ooh, 808 on the clock when i look down 8 55 a.m so that's my cue to end this here all right that is the end of this message i'm closing out the reading i hope this message uh gave you some insight or gave you some the type of information i don't know it's just you know the spirit wants me to put it out there so that's what i'm doing but that is the end of this message i hope i hope this helps somebody or gives you the confirmations or answers that you're looking for uh, make sure you like share subscribe hit that notification bell select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload you feel me i'm your uncle seven nine the spiritual savage remember you grow i grow i grow you grow we grow together so i was loving right around this bitch as always take it easy i love you to the zen moon and back deuces